if you were to fill up five regular garbage plastic bags full of garbage, stacked five of them in front of me for every foot of shoreline in 192 countries in the world, which is, is most of the world. That just gives you a little visual of how much that is every year that's entering our ocean. Microplastics were first discovered when researchers were doing regular water samples, like doing plankton toes, and as they were looking for these tiny microscopic organisms, they started to see tiny pieces of plastic. So the issue now is that we're finding them in the ocean, and there's obviously concern as to uh, marine organisms ingesting them and the impacts to them, but also then to us as humans. So that's really just coming to the forefront in the research world. We really don't have any definitive answers, but there's definitely a, a call for concern. If you think of a pencil eraser, that's five millimeters in size. So anything smaller than that to the point we can no longer see it and it's made of plastic. Primary microplastics are the raw resin pellets that we use to make all the plastic products that we see. They come in these tiny little balls and we melt them down and mold them into anything that's plastic. Some people use them as stuffing and pillows, think Beanie Babies. Those nurdles, as they call them, can get spilled through transportation on all the ships throughout the world. A major source for secondary microplastics is litter and stuff that has made it out into the environment and as it breaks down over time through sunlight, uh, wave action, and just natural and chemical degradation, once it gets to five millimeters in size or smaller, we call that a secondary microplastic. And then another thing we hear a lot about is from synthetic clothing. So if you look at the tag on your clothing um, and read the, you know, what, it, what is it made out of, if it's a synthetic material like polyester, nylon, Anything that you have that's like a fleece jacket or a fleece blanket, that's all synthetic materials, aka a type of plastic. And when we wash those and it gets kind of turned up in the washing machine, some of those fibers shed and they ultimately make it back out into the environment. I always encourage people not to get overwhelmed by the statistics because it is overwhelming and it can cause you just to simply do nothing because you don't think you can make a change. I would say to lead by example, do the small actions, bring your own reusable cups, cutlery, to-go containers, uh, simply asking restaurants, maybe your favorite restaurant, if they're serving straws, consider not. I would just say small changes and, and don't, don't lose hope.